Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Bite Size Podcast. This is episode 34 of Pocket Edition, and today I'm joined by Count Fracula and Mark. How are we, guys? Hi! Hey, you guys! <laughs> Hi, I'm Kermit the Frog! Uh, I've not That's encountered good. this before. Thank you. Bear with me, I listeners. That was quite good, actually, as well. <laughs> that was, yeah, props. That's nice spot stuff. Spot on. <laughs> um... All right, so we've we've basically just wrapped up recording a newscast. So I'm not going to ask you guys what you've been playing because we've just covered that. But I'll just yeah. ask you, what have you been up to? What have you been doing? Recording the newscast. <laughs> oh, <fair laughs> <guys. Thank> <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect. Oh, brilliant. Um, I've been doing a lot of GameCast-related things, and I've been I went out mm. for a nice walk yesterday, and I took some nice photos. There you go. Oh, nice. We need, we should link your website down below, actually, because yes. there's some nice shots Thanks. in there. I love that caterpillar one in the backyard. Very nice. All right. Mark, uh, have you been doing anything else other than the newscast? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly enough. Do uh, you want to share with us? Yeah, we- weirdly enough, I decided this week uh, to get an Instagram account. Oh. And basically so far, it's just been filled with photos of all the random crap that I own. Why this I'll week to get a, get an Instagram account? Why why in particular? I, I've been tossing it up. Yeah, I've been tossing it up for a while, and I don't know. I was just bored on Monday, <laughs> and I was like, you know what? That's an I odd well reason. <laughs> I'm <laughs> bored. Yeah, I guess... Let's open an Instagram account. <laughs> yeah, like like it's not that it's just random. It's like I wanted to make an Instagram account at some point as a way to catalog uh, drawings as well as figurine photos because i want to get a bit more professional with stuff like oh, that nice and then yeah, it's it. just decided i was like oh like i've got the time to create an account so i might as well do it on monday fair enough <laughs> and so i've been doing that and uh so so far so good for like four days got an over 20 followers Ooh. anyway i've been working all week and then working on a lot of game cut stuff actually a lot nothing that's actually visible which is disappointing <laughs> Oh, no, the newsletter. I gotta say, it will be visible. Um, It will be. And if you don't know, we've just produced our very first Gamecast newsletter. So if you wish to receive that, join our server and you can be on that mailing list where you can be kept in the loop and up to date on what's coming and what is happening in the immediate future. But other than that, I have been working all week. Um, However, I have ended my week on a high note. Uh, I picked up some new beer. (laughs) <laughs> some new beer, which uh, has oh, been, it's been hard the beer. to get my hands on, right? <laughs> I have not started. I'm waiting to wrap this episode, and then I'm going to crack <laughs> open a can of Jedi juice. <laughs> there will be pictures on screen what, right now. What is it's, it? Which, it's, I don't... it's an IPA count. Right, okay. A Star Wars-themed IPA, because re- don't don't tell Hillary's dad that this exists, because he's he loves beer bit too much well i am quite the beer fanatic myself i know um, i follow an adelaide beer fan page <laughs> and i requested help today from that fan page to track down these jedi juice beers you have a problem sully i finally got them <laughs> you need to <laughs> see sully, someone about this this isn't a pocket edition this isn't actually a pocket edition this is an intervention <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we care Anywho. about you Without further ado, let's push my problems aside and get into the episode. So today, we are discussing the Xbox Scarlet rumor. So, for those of you that do not know, uh, recently a rumor has been circulating and leaked from no legitimate sources, really, whatsoever, just kind of making the rounds, that the next Xbox that is coming next generation, or at least a box from Microsoft that is coming next generation, it may not necessarily be the only box, is a streaming cloud-based only Xbox. Again, codenamed Xbox Scarlet. So, what are your thoughts on this, guys, in terms of Microsoft, in terms of one, Microsoft releasing a uh, cloud-based only Xbox, and two, cloud gaming in general, next generation. Are we ready? Is infrastructure ready? Do we want it? So let's, let's jump into it. Count, do you want to go first? Infrastructure is definitely not ready. Absolutely, it's I agree. So bad. Like I said it I've said it in the newscast about the Spyro thing, but Australian internet is still shit in a lot of places. Pretty the British average. internet is still shit in a lot of places. Even, Even in the US. American internet is only twentieth in the world. 
-hmm. Like it averages 20 megasecond, and we average 14 megasecond in this country. You know, and then the most populous nation in the world, in Ch which is China, averages between two to eight megasecond. Hmm. You know, so we're seemingly a ways off. Um, I want to point out an interesting uh, point, though. When the original Xbox launched, everybody called Microsoft insane for having an Ethernet port on the console because the market had not adopted broadband yet. But yet. For the market to adopt broadband is a much it was a much simpler infrastructure change than much more attainable. Yeah, because to get these speeds at the moment, most for instance, most of the UK's uh, internet infrastructure is still using the copper wire as opposed to fiber optics. So yeah, we're still on a lot of copper. You here. can still get decent enough speeds over the copper wire, but not the high speeds that cloud. Um, cloud gaming particularly require you to have i might i'd probably be able to do it in my house i've got quite good internet here because i've got fiber i think all the way up to my house mm -hmm. so like even from the box to my house is fiber whereas a lot of com a lot of places it's fiber up to the box and then copper to the house so yeah, i'd be that's, fine that's very similar to what we have here in a lot yeah. of areas actually but like my box is literally <laughs> out like yeah. right outside my house so you know <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. Uh, what are your thoughts, Mark? What are your thoughts on Microsoft's potential positioning with a cloud-only box? Everything's within the realm of possibility, but it's not mm -hmm. an immediate possibility. Uh, because, like, say, say in whatever bizarre world it is, it releases tomorrow. No one's ready for that, least of all Australia. Yeah. Oh, absolutely not. Requires a lot of the world to be up to speed in a lot of other things which could spell doom for their console right out of the gate. Uh, it depends on where they're sort of going for this. Is it going to be an accompaniment uh, to their uh, home console thing, or is it just going to be the replacement, the next, like, Xbox entirely? And if their window is, say, two years from now, that still might not be realistic, because it still can't guarantee a lot of things. It's. It, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of the cloud anyway. <laughs> no, uh, nor am I, actually, to be honest. I find it fascinating and interesting. Um, I mean, the interesting detail to probably point out with this rumor, right, is apparently Microsoft has had a team working on fine-tuning all the cloud gaming um, bits and doodads to make it work. But apparently they're changing up the way, according to this rumor, that the calculations, how the calculations happen. So it's not all happening in the cloud. So the rumor states that a portion of the calculations will happen on the Scarlet. So your controller input um, and a certain amount of, um, uh, I don't know, physics or rendering or something is happening on the box uh, and the rest is happening in the cloud. So apparently with that blend, it eliminates that kind of weird latency issue that you get with, you know, sending your controller inputs inputs off to the cloud and then having them ping back at you. Um, so if it works and they found the secret source, fantastic. Um, I still think no matter what, you need to be in the ideal situation for cloud gaming to work. You know, I think we'd be seeing it by now more regularly if the world was ready for it. I don't personally don't think the world's gonna be ready for it. Uh, even maybe next decade, maybe the end of next decade, it will be ready for our cloud gaming. Um, I think it's an interesting, concept um I, do i think it's a mistake if microsoft offers a cloud only box next generation in conjunction with another box absolutely not if they want to throw out a cloud gaming box awesome go for it especially uh, considering this rumor suggests which makes sense that this box would likely or at least hopefully be the cheaper alternative and even cheaper entry point into the Xbox ecosystem because you're not paying for all the GPU and hardware inside the box. It's mostly receiving all of its um, processing power from the cloud um, and it needs very minimal on, uh, processing power on board to make it all work. So that's an interesting concept as well. And I, to be honest, I'd be quite interested to see a cloud only box being the scale hit the market uh, and fall in line with a traditional box and just see how it goes. Why not? Um, I mean, the loss of money is a pretty good reason why not. Well, I mean, for Microsoft, but from a consumer end, I don't see a big deal. I mean, if you want to have um, a box that is basically just, you know, streams Netflix and streams games from the cloud, then why not? Yeah, 
Um, Choice. Drop again. <laughs> it, uh, what's another interesting point is that I like. I feel like Microsoft's almost been building to this point for a while. And my case in point uh, is Game Pass. You know, th- they've adopted this kind of format and way, or, like a subscription for games. Like that's not necessarily new, but you know, it's almost like a, it feels like Netflix for games. And yes, I know you download them onto the Xbox with Game Pass that's not currently streaming, but I could totally see Gamecast evolving. You said Gamecast. <laughs> Sorry, Gamecast on the brain. Game Pass. I could totally see Game Pass evolving into a service where you can download the games if you want and play them on a traditional Xbox or you stream them through Game Pass from the cloud. Yeah. But, you know, is is this box going to be wide, widely adopted if it hits the market? Probably not. <laughs> that's, that's what it comes back to for me. I, I want to see it happen because I think it'd be interesting. I don't think it's going to fly off the shelves, though. No. Not as it currently exists. You know, if if it's just a... Maybe this room is kind of a little bit skewed and maybe it is just a traditional box that has heavy implementation of cloud gaming features. Cool. You know, awesome. Then it's going to sell like hotcakes like any other Xbox. But a, a dedicated cloud box? No, we're not ready. Not even in 2020. I still think we don't have any sort of concrete evidence that this could work well. Because the only one that we have so far is PlayStation Now and you know and that's pretty average yeah exactly that's the problem isn't it well I mean how much stock do you guys put in Microsoft and as the rumors <laughs> would suggest their secret source <laughs> about as much as I put in with Sony and PlayStation Now you know yeah because I see I put a lot more stock in Microsoft with figuring that stuff out like they're a software based company I, I feel like if anybody could do it it would be them and I think this is technology that still has to be proven to work, and I'm not mm. going to just say that it'll be fine and work, because we don't actually yeah. know that yet. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely on the side of wishful thinking, but I just feel that, you know, with Microsoft and, you know, them being the pioneers of Xbox Live originally, I feel like if ever anybody could pull it off, and anybody with the amount of money that they have could, you know, they could do it. Maybe. Not necessarily in two years, I'm talking in the long term. I mean, yeah, they're not Nintendo. They're not just going to piss it away and do something stupid, but you know. <laughs> yeah, Scarlet just rocking, it's rocking is it, carts. Is Scarlet. it, Mark? Doesn't seem very innovative to me, a lot of the stuff Nintendo does. I don't know, the Switch was good. The Switch was, was a good, good idea. But, you know. It's like, you, you can see an idea forming across their consoles. The Wii U was a mistake. Yes. It was an idea. Oh, yeah. The Wii U was just the worst thing. But the Switch perfected that idea. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good point, Mark, and it's, I think it's true. It's funny because you can see that when you look at the Switch and you put it next to the Wii U and you're just like, it's the same thing, just better. It, like, that, that's the thing. That Nintendo's way is you're not going to figure it out unless you try and fail. Yeah, but, you know, still. <laughs> so it's like, like if, if, say, Microsoft try and fail, it might be a much more spectacular sort of thing because it relies very heavily on a lot of other countries keeping up with it. I guess I think the question is, is it time to start at least offering these services, cloud-based services? You know, if you're going to put a flag in the ground, is now the time. Next generation. You don't know unless you try. Yeah. Okay. You know, even if this next box is uh, next box. Can, yeah, can we call it the next box? <laughs> Let's call it next box. <laughs> How many names have we come I, up with I it now? Like love before it. the we record, we came up with cock box. <laughs> I don't even know. It's at least it's a five. better name than the Xbox One. Yep. <laughs> yeah. You know what's funny is I think all the the uh, acronyms of the Xboxes from this generation, or the you know how they have the little letters like the E's and the S, it literally spells sex. <laughs> oh no. Great, right? They knew what they were doing. Oh yeah, they had to. Know <laughs> yeah. What they were doing. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> so, any final thoughts on this, guys? Cloud gaming. Let's put a pin in it. Uh. You can't put a pin in a cloud. <laughs> <laughs> lovely yeah I, take it away count look it might work it might be great but it's not there's been no system yet that has been proven that that proves this concept to be able to work so you know i don't know if our infrastructure is something that will be able to handle this kind of rather broadband intent like this bandwidth intensive kind of thing like even when you're putting sort of half the computation on one side you've still got to then send that other yeah. half to the box to do the thing so i don't know so are you are you more of a non-believer in this just this method i am it almost sounds i am constantly a skeptic i will not believe okay. something until it's been proven to me that it's a thing that works i mean 
I'm an empiricist. There you go. From my understanding, it all comes back to internet speed. Like, if we all had unlimited speeds, yeah, we'd be cloud gaming yeah, in a heartbeat. We don't. <laughs> Mark, what are your thoughts? Final thoughts. Look, it's it's one of those things where I don't I don't see it plausible in the immediate future. They can go ahead and try. It'd be cool to see if it is actually plausible, say, they release it globally or release it only within uh, one infrastructure at a time, because that's probably the only way you'd get it working initially. Mm-hmm. Um I think I think it could be a good proof of concept uh, for something later on, but it shouldn't be like an all all or nothing uh, next console entirely gamble. No, it should because be something that they it, it could it could build up it could to. blow up spectacularly. Yeah, interesting. So I I kind of think just my final thoughts. I think this is almost the point in time where we're almost coming full circle back to maybe at least a portion of what Microsoft envisioned with the original Xbox One. Like an always online system, which is absolutely fucking what a Scarlet Box would be, or Next Box. Um, <laughs> Stop calling it the Next Box. <laughs> next Box TM. <laughs> next Box. Um, I, I think Microsoft's kind of been leading to this point in time for a while. You know, they've always wanted to be always online digital box. Um, for some time now, at least since the beginning of Xbox One. And I absolutely think we're going to get, I'm just going to put it out there now, we're going to get a cloud gaming box from them next generation. When that generation comes, I don't know, it's 2020, 2022. Within the next five years, we're going to get a cloud gaming box from Microsoft. And I think that because Microsoft have been super aggressive with pushing the envelope with their consoles, with the Xbox One X and their services being Game Pass, both those offerings being very popular and very well received. And I think they're going to keep embracing that path of just pushing the envelope. And I think this is them planting their flag in what I believe is probably the future of long-term gaming. Is it going to happen this decade? Probably not. I mean, I think digital sales of games have only just overtaken physical. So cloud gaming isn't going to surpass traditional gaming anytime soon. It's a while off. But if you're going to plant a flag, I think you might as well plant it now and keep building the services that they have being Game Pass. So I absolutely think it's coming. Do I think it's going to be the only box they offer next generation? Absolutely not. It'll launch side and side with a normal traditional console and it's just going to be an offering just to put a flag in the ground and just claim a bit of real estate and test the market, build off that platform. Yeah, and just to, you know, see if it is viable, but I think ultimately just build off that platform. That's my wrap up. But anyway, let us know what you think down below in the comments. Can your internet even run potatoes? Uh, are you ready for a Scarlet Box? Let us know what you think of cloud gaming down below in the comments. Or you can come into our Discord server and bash my opinion there. <laughs> You're uh, <or> wrong. Agree-, <laughs> agree with it. Either or. Either or is perfectly fine by me. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video though, please remember to rate, comment and subscribe. And as well, if you are listening to this on SoundCloud or iTunes, uh, come and check out our YouTube channel because we've got plenty of other content on our channel in the form of reviews, news, and other bits and doodads. So be sure to come on and check that out. Uh, And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in episode 35 of Pocket Edition. Have a good one.